Welcome friends, today video is about how to make minecraft game and if you not subscribe my channel then click on subscribe button and turn the notification bell on for new videos. So let's get started. A simple mesh contain on vertex, triangle and UV. Vertex is the point of mesh. Mesh have many vertex according to its shape. A one quad have four vertex and filled with two triangles in clockwise direction 0, 1, 2 and 1, 3, 2. I'm going to use this method for generating mesh. I set the statics vertex point for all faces. I created the texture for my box and here we generated single box but we need bunch of box for this I'm going to use fast noise. In my knowledge a one mesh can handle 60,384 blocks. Finally, we generated one chunk, but it have many unnecessary blocks. I'm going to remove these all faces. And finally, we remove all the extra faces from my chunk. And also, I'm going to remove outdoor faces. It's a single chunk. We need infinite chunk. Most difficult thing is UV mapping. For this, I created formula which need two inputs. First for detection number in row and other color. It provide 2D UV point on texture. And here we finally generated bunch of chunks using fast noise. And you can see we have no any type of extra face in this train. And now I'm going to generate some trees. And here we go trees with transparent leaves. But we also need some cave on the downside of ground. Very simple process. I use the fast noise for generating this cave. And now you can see here our cave. And also I added some stone in my train where some point it's up from ground and you can see here my whole train divided in small chunk maybe 128 and now planting process and i use cross vertex for generating plant on the surface of our train remember these plant blow have no glider it's randomly generated on the up side of grass block i think we completed our process of mesh generation but we need chunk modifier for adding or moving block from train and finally we did this in script and you can see here where we click the left mouse button it remove the block from chunk and where we click right button it generate the blocks to the normal of the hit point but we need target block which move with mouse i created the animation for target block and also i created particle for moving block and blocks crack particle and also added some sound effect adding and moving block and here you can see where we move mouse a graphic placed on mouse position block so now we can easily modify our chunk but we missed something we cannot save these blocks which we removed and added and making some house we cannot save this every time we start game we found new world so we need to create a script for save and load chunk that I'm going to use binary file for saving this chunk data which is the fastest method for saving the data and here I modify the, this chunk and now I'm going to click on save button and then again I'm going to modify some change and here if we click on load button again our last save block position appear now we need a fps character i created on character and i'm going to add pickup x in my fps character and with animation and also i added swap one thing missed we need to load chunk 
around the player and also we need to remove extra chunk which is far away from player i did this with very simple method so now we need inventory for switching block type i created simple icon for different block now if we play we can easily switch this block type by using mouse call v everything is going fine but notice that our scene color is not much good for this i am going to import post processing stack in my project and going to add some effect this time our game looking cool but we still missing something from our game which is necessary for game like menu and loading screen i found this minecraft logo and button from sides and i created the menu similar like minecraft and then also i created the post menu and loading screen so now we're going to play our game 